Today we're talking about estrogen dominance. What is estrogen dominance? Simply put, estrogen dominance is too much estrogen, not enough progesterone. Estrogen and progesterone are both hormones. Now, what are hormones? Hormones are simply chemical messengers that flow through our bloodstream, delivering specific instructions and specific details to specific cells and specific organs. That being said, that sounds really complicated. I like to picture hormones like a bike messenger riding around downtown New York City. She's got a backpack full of messages and she's coming up to her first delivery, handing off that specific detail. She's coming up to the next address, she's handing off those instructions. That's what our hormones do in our bloodstream. They go through our body doing one job, delivering messages. So when I think of hormones together, I picture a group of friends. We all have that one friend, the one friend who after drinking a couple of glasses of wine, she starts to get a little confident, she starts to get a little loud, she starts to get emotional, pushy, and flat out rude. And after a while, no one wants to be around her. There's too much of her. But the good group of friends always go and talk her off the ledge, bring her back down, and bring her into balance. That's what progesterone does. Progesterone's the good friend because we need estrogen. We love her, but we can't have too much of her. So progesterone's job is to come in and regulate and balance estrogen. When we're in balance, everything is working great, we feel great, and all the messengers that are riding around in the bloodstream are sending the correct messages and getting the correct details to the right cells and to the right organs. So we all know what causes our friend to get out of control and get crazy. But what causes estrogen to get out of control and crazy? I don't know, breathing, <laughs> just everyday life, the foods we eat, the hormones in foods, stress, pollution in the air, chemicals. Did I say stress? Stress has a huge impact on our hormones. We'll talk about that in another video. So what do we do about it? First thing to do is get a saliva test. Know where your levels are, because what you don't know could actually hurt you. I was definitely estrogen dominant, and I didn't even know. The second thing is, get educated. That's what I did. Trust me, if I can do it, anyone can do it. We have a ton of resources and information on the links below. So check us out at maxalive.com. And be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the button below, and be sure and click on the little bell so that every time we upload a video, you're notified. And I'd really like to hear from you guys. If you can think of anything that you have questions about or that we could do a video on, hit me up in the comments below. That's all for now. See you next time.